Yellow Duckies, and welcome to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Now, this is a game that is coming out tomorrow. And it is an open world style investiga investigative uh, psychological thriller where you play as a young Sherlock Holmes investigating the murder of his mother. So. Let's hop in and see what this game has to offer. The beating heart of the island, the air, there's a particular newspaper to find out how the story ended. Okay. So there's multiple cases here. Hmm. <clears throat> Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Thank you for your support, John. I don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, <laughs> Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. I sure look grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Ugh. I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit a grave. Even if it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. We'll go together. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Do keep in mind that there was a warning, I didn't get it into this clip, but there was a warning about um, the portrayal of certain racism and, and, and stereotypes and that sort of situations that rather than ignore them and completely cut them from the game, they wanted it to be more time frame sensitive as to what it would be like. which. I completely understand. <clears throat> and what's more, I hey, kind of like Come that on, they, catch up. they have that in yes, there, because yes. I would much rather it be accurate rather than an inaccurate but PC version kind of thing. Not, you know, yeah, I'm sure. Sherlock, yes. don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. Now nah, I'm gonna get lost. Can I run? I can run! Whee! Hello, dude. Smoking's bad for you. We'd learn that in the future. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. <clears throat> Alrighty. Go through the door. A little bit of lag. That could just be my PC. We just need your signature. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have 
Room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Yeah, sure. I want to see our room. I think there's a balcony with a view. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our yes, room. Yes, yes. I think there's a balcony with a view. Is it cleaning? Anything over here? Nothing interesting. Parlor and area sort of thing. Excuse me. You're not dead, are you? Nah, you're moving. Okay. He could have been my first case. Let's see. Two. Six. Twenty-seven. It's. Oh wait, no, that must have been too mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Are there parlor area or no? Is there another area? Must be over there then. took my way. I am barreling through. Okay, 222. Aha! Hello, my good I sir. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Okay. Back downstairs. Guessing the restaurant is around here. This isn't necessarily a restaurant. This is the bar. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. Hey, Sherry. Uh. Just our luck. Are you not coming to sit and eat? I don't understand. Is our room ready yet? What about now? How about now? That's an interesting cane. Hmm. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Okay. Well. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Okay. I do like the character design as well. It's an interesting take. The, the kind of gothic style Sherlock Holmes. Add a few chains, book hanging here and there. Can I go through to the rest of the garden? No, I can't. Okay, okay. Maybe now my room will be ready. Let's go back and check. I don't see anybody else I can really... Perhaps in the meantime you would like to relax in the foyer? <sighs> Tonight the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. That's blocked off. Oh, it's abandoned. Okay. I 
just don't know what I'm what else I'm supposed to do here. Because if seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Hey Sherry, just our luck. Went into the oh oh a medium john haven't we been through this already come on it's not like we've got anything better to do ah here we go that's what i was supposed to see excuse me sir but i believe mr galich is conducting a seance at the moment perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait why pardon me why should i sit for a portrait i sir it's art doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? That's backward. Truth is not subjective and not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. <laughs> Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. Cordona's even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? Aha, I finally get a choice. What do you have in what mind? What are you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up on that boat, I am itching for activity. No. As you can see, someone left a cane on our table. I simply thought you could identify its owner. Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. It'll take me a minute, John, at most. Well then, you can deliver it to him as well. Why should I return? Deliver it to him. <laughs> then what are the staff here for? Aesthetics? Stubborn, Sherry, too stubborn. You wanted something to do. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make it worthwhile. But all right, let me take a look. Aha, uh -huh. now we get the... A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow. Perhaps the Fielding family or meadows. Or Craven from the old English name meaning garlic place. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. So that. All right. I is... hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Okay, so we have our case book here. Table to spend the evening. Museum, back to Cordova. Okay, um. Pin. Pardon, monsieur, but I am not in the mood to talk. Print evidence, pin the evidence, icon.
someone here. Let's. Oh, we can actually talk to these people. Help me, now. please. Of course. Stop me when you've had enough. Three people at the table, a couple, and a retired Navy officer. Observers weren't sure what happened to the couple, but the Navy officer was going out to the garden. Well, yeah. even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. <laughs> and would you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Italian singer, former dancer, clerk, Turkish adventurer, cartoon auditor. Okay, so it was a Heat stroke. Oh, lovely. French secretary. Welsh adventure. Italian physician. English aristocrat. Possible. Irish aristocrat. French clerk. What about the guy that's French actor? French teacher. You know what? I think I'm going. with this dude. May I ask you something? Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Darn it. <sighs> British nobleman. went out here. But I do not see retired military. French. Said he was British nobleman, not Closest that it comes at this point. May I ask for your assistance? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Aha. Uh -huh. Navy officer, Mr. Rhodes, was sitting at our table with the noble couple. Men talked about your health. Ladies were fidgeting with the cane. Perhaps you put it aside. And your husband forgot to take it when they were, went to meet the medium. Now I have a perfect excuse to enter the seance room. Okay. Um, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Alrighty. So, where's the seance taking place? That's the question. Tell me. Oh, wait. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. <laughs> this hotel, this island, it's full of thieves. First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Even know who I am. Hey, 
cape boy. That's my cape. I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made. A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner? Choose the other one. Early certain this man is Lord Craven, the willing to turn habit of his short liver malady, which you probably got. Yeah. Yeah. Let's choose that one. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything. I was after a British noble who takes boxing lessons but suffers from some liver issues. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Well, you're half correct. I am indeed Lord Andrew Craven. Your other guesses were wrong. But you still have the edge over that blasted medium. Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond too. Yes. You should do it. It will be child's play for you, Mr. Holmes. And if a child can do it, then I'm sure the local police can suffice. The police? Why bother? I know this Harlequin stole it. The only question is, where is it hidden? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. Hmm. Tell me about the diamond. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a seance? It is an unusual accoutrement. Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an Indian king. So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty and... Pray tell, you were expecting him to converse in English? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't believe in ghosts. But Emma was fascinated by the idea of meeting a real king, even a dead one. Well, a crown is a crown. Can you describe the stone itself? A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another like it. Okay, I get to ask the other question anyway. Okay. You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here in the dark, chanting and holding hands, as expected. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. The swindler called it ectoplasm. Ah, oh, yes. Common in the spiritualist trade. And quite the spectacle. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her, attacking that cursed ghost. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. Okay, let me have a look around. Stay here, and don't touch anything. I'm going to investigate further. Don't fret, I'll be keeping a close eye on this thief. Alright, so... I guess I need to... Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's 
barely conscious. Feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. Hmm. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. Was this covered on purpose? Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a seance. The spirits may become enraged. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. Okay, so we've got... There are light traces of rouge on the edge of this wine glass. Half a glass of Balblair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? The ghost was here, Sherry. Something just happened. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Straight back to this, okay. The glass is broken. I'm missing something. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. Hm. There we go. Okay. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Let's interrogate the medium. <laughs> what happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. And it must have taken the diamond. Who else could have? Are there any spirits here now? Do you feel the presence of any supernatural entities at the moment? Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken, this maniac wants to kill me, and you're asking about the spirits? I suppose this can wait. Find out. I will investigate, and the culprit will be identified. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Uh, perhaps you can reason with him? Please? Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind, Palace Sherry. I'm mm -hmm. sure you'll make some good deductions. Alright. So... Mind Palace. Okay. 
pointing at the window. I'm sure she saw someone in the courtyard during the seance. Okay. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, oh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. One man even left it. At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. Alright, was well, that what I was missing? Skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing, okay, barely conscious. Feebleness of women. Can't talk to her because she's not well. Ooh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so we have a statue. like the old man's losing it. His beehives are being ransacked and the bees are going down one by one. I don't think there's as much honey left in staying with the swarm if you catch my drift. Ducks at noon, we'll do it together. Plotters, note. Excuse me, just one question. I can't help you with that, sir. Really? Can't help. What? So we got the heel. There was a heel. Heels, so maybe it was a female serpent. Said something about the docks, though. to the dock. 
or what they... Hmm. Oh, there's like a camera option here. What if I go back behind this? Can I talk to this dude? Can I ask you a question? I have nothing to hide, sir, but I've never heard of this. All right, so maybe... Let's look at her casebook here. It goes to the past. Okay. There's one in the courtyard. a note. There's a mark on the wall. What was the button I pressed? There was a button I pressed. I know it. Uh, it wasn't Q. Ah. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Okay, um... I didn't take the diamond, I swear. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. <laughs> May I ask you something? I can't help you. May I ask you something? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Oh, I need... Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely Find conscious. the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. But I can't talk to her until she's... What happens if I... Oh, I can't walk into the water. Ay. Point and click mystery that I don't... Me? I can't help you with that, sir. Maybe if I go and ask the front... Be able to see back through. May I ask you something? Please, don't get angry, sir. But I know nothing about this, I swear to you. Such a shame that Inspector Placido vanished. I'd feel much safer with him handling this. I don't know. Try asking someone else. Excuse me, just one question. Sir, I don't know. <sighs> Try asking someone else. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who? <laughs> Can't you just ask the right questions? I don't. In about what and dressed as what. Someone was in the courtyard. Seemed to be dressed as a maid. Possibly. Had a heel at least to her shoe. Alright, 
let's try something a little different. We are going to... Isn't life too short to remain sober? <laughs> Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Don't understand. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. Let's ask this guy if he knows anything about the... Do you know anything about this? I can't help you with that, sir. Check the area and see if there's any traces outside. So far all I've found is a note. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely ah, leave scratches. Ah, that's what I was... All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail. Aha. Okay, sorry about that extended walk around, guys. Size four with a broken heel. Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. <laughs> so definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless. <sighs> no. What a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Okay, so. There's the thing that I was missing the whole time. Um, let me quickly go and... Could you help me? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some information for you. Alright. Oh. Black spike? Okay, there we go. Staff said that Lucia got a scolding from the chief steward for wearing commentaries at work. Should be cleaning near the pictures upstairs now. Okay. She's not here. Help me, please. Ex excuse me? What? I'm not sure I know. Uh, Okay, then let's ask her. Can I ask you a question? Sir, I don't know. Try asking someone else. Oh, I am bored. Call me when you find the answer. Okay, so maybe not these paintings. Maybe different paintings. I don't know. Aha! This painting looks authentic, but it's just a talented imitation. Finally, there you are. One would think a maid would be easy to find in this place. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Do you need more towers? No, no. You are the maid who saw the ghost in the seance room, yes? How did you know? Simple. You changed shoes after breaking a heel while fleeing the scene. I'm sorry, sir, but if I may ask, who are you? Uh, I'm solving a crime. The precious diamond <laughs> was stolen during the seance. Lord Craven entrusted me with its recovery. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden to discuss the private matters of our guests. Hmm. Are you also forbidden from peeking into private rooms, Miss? Saletta. Lucia Saletta, sir. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I. Oh, please, sir, don't tell him. I have a family. I need this work. I won't, but only if you answer my questions truthfully. And don't play coy. I can tell. OK. 
Okay, so what did you see? Describe what happened during the seance. Oh, a lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium started to whisper and, and chant, and a ghost appeared. A ghost? You're confident? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing cloud or a bubble. I pressed closer against the window to see better. And the lady saw you? How did she? Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. And that's all you can tell me? Did you see any of what happened next? Mm -hmm. the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something with the ghost. He grabbed at it like he was trying to catch it. And then I ran. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right, I have your account memorized. Good day. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. Okay, so what are we doing here? With enough clues, Sherlock can use imagination to reconstruct. Okay. began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted. Amazing! It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? <laughs> How about no ghost? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 226. I'm pretty sure it's closer this way. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven? Okay, so am I supposed to... Chef steals food. Lots of guests this summer. Acquaintances. This is raising me. Look out. No. Oh, what? Okay. 
Lady Craven. All right. Nope. Shield's food. Nope. Lady Craven. I don't Lady understand Craven enough about the character. Was on the lookout. First made her husband drunk. Let's guess this somewhere. Can I use a fishing <gasps> fish knife, apparently? They gossip that the woman may not be the wife of Lord Craven, but there she was on the lookout during the evening while trying to get Lord Craven drunk. They also noticed that the lady was unsure. Oh, I don't even know what a fish knife is. So <laughs> that just kind of suggests my own issues there. Uh, something torn up. Broken glass. Oh boy. You're Strangler, here, at you last. Know? I didn't do that. I swear, I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. They'll only make things worse. You, you promised me you would investigate. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. I will tell them all I've uncovered. Please help me. The police will surely accuse me of Emma's death. You were the only one who can find the truth. Fine, but only because it's slightly more interesting than the walls of my room. Tell me what happened. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici the medium. Was she with and you? was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. And where's the medium? Is Mr. Galici still being held? And where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225. But that pigeon-livered man at the reception desk refused to give me the key. Well, I will have to visit reception myself then. Perhaps he will listen to reason. And where did you go next? Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Now we arrive at the tragedy at hand. So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort if I live out my days in a jail cell. You must help me. Let me see what I can find. Barely an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? All right, so I think I'm going to leave that here to for the moment, guys. Uh, if you'd like to see more, do let me know down in the comments. Uh, honestly, I'm actually really enjoying this. I know I spent a good chunk of time there just kind of wandering around trying to figure out exactly what I was supposed to be doing, but uh, to be honest, it wasn't completely clear that there was something I was supposed to glean more than it was a broken heel, and, and yeah. So... Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.